There we see Jeff Hubbard in winning that one on a 14.47. Galami with 14. And Yuri, 12.87. Not far behind him, but unlucky Yuri. The campaign is over for his he's, Eureka Challenge this year. He's stoked right there. Jeff Hubbard coming out of the keyhole right there. Not only going out in the water, but also coming in. It looks like we got action straight off the back. Chase O'Leary. Yes. Oh, nice. So nice. nice forward spin out of the pocket there. So Chase O'Leary starting his heat off. That was a little good morning breakfast barrel burrito right there for uh, Chase O'Leary. Here we see Chase on the replay. Kicking into this one. Setting up. Gets a little nice barrel here at the start. Locks in there. That's a nice chew for Chase. And just manages to fall punch out of that. And a good forward spin. So it's a good start for Chase. From Port Macquarie, from Australia, Chase O'Leary. 20 years of age, currently ranked 20 on the tour. And I'm sure the B-Wall and uh, Lighthouse boys will be watching. <laughs> well, not a bad way to start off your morning and your heat with a deep barrel and a nice clean maneuver on the end there. Again, bodyboard <laughs> country right here in Arica. I mean, uh, Jeff just finished off that heat, and he's already getting hounded on the way to on the way to uh, return his jersey. And it, it's going to happen throughout the entire event. I mean, Hubbard's, no matter what day it is, he's al always going to get stopped for autographs and photos. So, again, Jeff Hubbard and Guilherme Tamega advancing on to round number four. Unfortunately for Uri Valadao, that is the end of the competition here in the Stealth Arica Chilean Challenge presented by BSC. Jeff Hubbard uh, with that... 8.5 unreal solid barrel that he got earlier in his heat. And uh, he's pumped. He's advancing on along with Guilherme Tamega, round number four. All right, we do have a little lull in the action. So what I'm going to do is uh, give a couple shout outs to all of you that are tuning in from around the world. <coughs> we do have a Google Plus profile up and uh, I did uh, post something on there, round number three. Where are you at? Jason Hollingworth is Port Macquarie tuning in. We know it's really late out there. And look at this, out the back. Dave Winchester in the red going left and in white. Chase O'Leary going right. Whoa, <laughs> big flip right there from Chase O'Leary. Dropping the gauntlet as far as maneuvers in this heat right now. And Chase driving all the way across the reef right there with another roll. Chase O'Leary. Unreal. I can hear all the crew back home in Australia just through the headphones. <laughs> all right, this guy, always under the radar, but will take the heat, any heat. Roberto Bruno from Brazil looking for a big section right there. Big ARS right there from Roberto Bruno. Not done yet. A nice extended roll right there. All of his buddies in the, commentating, uh, the competitors area, I can hear him cheering and clapping for Roberto Bruno. Chase O'Leary already clocking in two solid waves. Greg Hart, we know you're tuning in from Warno, Warnam Bowl, Australia. And let's take another look. Uh, we saw the split peak chase and Dave splitting that peak. It was Winnie on the left. Dave Winchester, as you can see, he's uh, looking for that barrel. He finds the cover up very deep, deep in that section. And he's squatting down, getting lower and lower as the barrel gets smaller and smaller. But he punches through. Well... I think he was just trying to be uh, very conservative and cautious not to roll up onto that uh, reef. So Dave Winchester, nice, clean, deep barrel on the inside reef. So Greg Hart, Tom, we know you're tuning in once again from Cardiff. Here's another look at uh, Roberto Bruno's last wave. As you can see, not much of a barrel on the outside, so he's eyeing a section to do a big maneuver, and he finds it, and he does a nice textbook ARS, an air roll spin is... Uh, what you just saw there from Roberto Bruno, a big one by that, by all means, and does a roll right there, lands it and gets out of there as soon as possible. So Roberto Bruno, 32 years young. He is currently uh, 38 on the tour. And uh, you know what? He's one of those guys that will just bite you on the butt as uh, the heat winds down. So 
Julio Ferreira from the Dominican Republic. Liam, once again, from the Gardens coming in. JP Devine, John O'Davis in Sydney. Eduardo from Cape Verde. And uh, here's another look one more time from on the right, Chase O'Leary. Big backflip right there from Chase O'Leary. I may have called it an air roll spin earlier, but that was a big backflip right there from Chase O'Leary. Comes into the inside with another roll and finishes off that wave. So sick wave for Chase O'Leary. So he has two solid waves. Alan, we know you've been tuning in from day number one. I know you're from Barbados and you're tuning in from NYC. Hasn't missed a second, second of the action. Alan, thank you for tuning in. So now here in the commentator's area is uh, the event organizer and uh, Tomate Surf Shop owner, Tomate. Tomate, ¿cómo estás, hermano? How are you doing? Uh, very good, very good. Thank you very much. It's so a pleasure to be with you here on the comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tomate, you've had very successful uh, years with this event, and uh, each year all the riders can't wait to come back because they know El Gringo is uh, one of the most consistent waves in the world. Yes, I know. That is my spot, and I was a I got a dream so many years ago to make something for my own country, for my own city, and to show to my people what is the bodyboard uh, is. So, what is my plan is to run this contest, and my first year it was so heavy to make it, so, you know, so too much, so much, uh, too much job. But now is every every year is more easy to make it. And everybody's happy, the riders, um, the IBA, the locals, um, and the government. So we can show my, uh, my spot and my city to the world by the, West, by the West Casting. So I'm really happy about my job. Um, now I'm trying to uh, promote more the sport in my city also with this contest. So more people can practice bodyboard or whatever in the, at the beach. So it is good. it is good for me to do that. Just not for my pleasure to make a contest, just to do other kind of things. Well, you're doing a fantastic job here in Arica, and we appreciate you inviting everybody back here every year. Look at Tomate. We do have the winner of the last heat downstairs with Alex Leon. Alex, where you at, brother? Yeah, thanks, Manny. Danny with that uh, heat four winner, Jeff Hubbard. Unbelievable, Jeff. How tight was that? Oh, that was so tough. Uh, Galerami's just, like, he won out here a couple times already, so... You go up against him, you feel like you're in a final, and you know you throw a world champ like Yuri in there, and you know he's good in these waves. He's beat people out here before, like Laramie. So, I knew it was just anyone's game, and so I was just <laughs> felt like I made a tactical error in the beginning. I, I I caught a real bad wave to the start, and I saw Laramie get a bomb, and I was like, Fuck. so I was like against the ropes the whole time, just but I fought back pretty good, and then I let let Yuri go in one, and I thought I made a mistake, and then it ended up being a real good one, real good call because he got like only a four, and then the next wave I got was my eight five, so. It's a real good call. I was stoked. I, I made it. <laughs> it was tough, man. Any 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 time you just like choose the wrong wave out here in these conditions when it's real slow, it's like game on, game over. That's it. And we saw you. You know, you, you got that nice good left at the start, the big one, and then you dropped. You were in third priority, so you got busy on the inside, and you managed to get that nice inside left into that huge invert off that bowl. Like you you maximised that third priority system, so in your favour. So you surfed it really well. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I knew I was in third priority, and there's I was like, well, I, I better just catch waves and start my account because I had nothing going on. So I caught two like almost six point rides right there, and I was like, I, I got a little bit more comfortable, so I could afford to wait on those. So it was, it was a lot better. I'm stoked. Yeah, and I mean, such a tough one. All you guys have won world titles before you, Yuri, and Galami, and I've seen the way when you realised you'd won that heat that you just went and shook um, Tamiga's hand. It just must have been so stoked to just that's a pressure cooker off your back. Yeah, that was a pressure cooker. This was the pressure cooker round. You know, I didn't make this round of the box, so to make this round here just felt so good. Like, get into the non-elimination round and just, uh, you know, just try and, you know, just surf, surf balls to the wall this afternoon with the, with the best of them. It's going to be great. Cool. Well, there you go. Jeff Hubbard, our heat winner there, advancing through, along with Glammy Tamiga as well. Um, unlucky for Yuri, but back to you boys in the booth. Congratulations to Jeff Hubbard advancing on to round number four. He and Galeri Matemega will advance on, and uh, Uri Valadao will uh, hang out and support his fellow uh, Brazilians, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, just uh, Jeff and uh, Tamega to stay at my home, so I'm so happy they, they can make it uh, the hit. So, uh, yeah, I'm so happy. Stoke for them. Awesome. So they're staying at your house? Uh, just Tamega now this year. Uh, Jeff, uh, first first year he stay at hotel. 
Okay. Uh, he wants to practice more every morning, every like a very very early, like uh, coming from the night. Hey, check it out, this. Yes, the, <laughs> the replay of Dave Winchester's wave that we saw during the interview. Here he is just clocking again, more tube time in the barrel right here on the left at El Gringo. And you can see him. It's all about the timing. And they're going to be stalling or getting more speed inside of the barrel and then figuring out what they're going to do at the end of that wave. And uh, you saw Dave Winchester right there with a nice move. So <clears throat> Dave Winchester is leading the charge right now. Actually, no, I take that back. It is Dave Winchester. He is currently in second place out in the water with uh, 19 minutes, 13 seconds remaining. Chase O'Leary with his uh, two solid waves of a 5.93 and a 5.8 will solidify him right now into that first place spot. Roberto Bruno, his second wave of a 2.0. I mean, that's more going to be a throwaway wave as uh, the time progresses because he will catch another wave, and he's only looking for a 5.54 right now. So... Tomate, surf yes. shop. You started with one, now you have three. What's going on? Uh, it's, it's, I'm doing good, um, <laughs> but it's a lot of job. It's a lot of job. I, I started in 2007. You you saw me in Hawaii, in Tahiti. Um, I used to go there and shoot photos and videos, so I started doing my job over there and and then some making some money, and then I, I invest in some bodyboard products, and I start doing business. Uh, here we go. Yes, Dave Winchester taking a look right here on the right-hander. A lot of speed. What's he going to do yeah. on the second? Bam. Yeah. Nice, clean <laughs> hit right there. Totally yeah. just getting airborne right there on yeah. the right. Chase O'Leary answering back that. on the left. Comes around the section and just slides under the lip right there just in time. And nice, clean, open barrel. He's going to finish off with a roll right onto the rocks. Oh, man. It is so good this way, yeah. So good. Yes, <laughs> everybody's just clocking in some serious barrels and big moves right off the bat. Good morning. Yeah, we are here sitting, commentating. <laughs> I wonder, I would like to be there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dave Winchester, here's another look on his right. Look at just full speed, full focus on a lip maneuver, and he finds it nice, clean, textbook air maneuver right there. Easily 10 feet above the water and lands perfectly, yeah. Dave Winchester. Okay, so good, so consistent. In this wave, he liked that, this wave. Oh, he lo everybody loves this wave. I yeah. Mean, they all can't wait till they get back to Arica for this event. Chase O'Leary, let's take another look at this wave. He comes around this, that first section, and he barely avoids the getting clipped by the lip, but slides into the pocket, gets barreled. He's shacked. The, the camera angle that you see right here is actually deeper than what you see there because <laughs> yeah. uh, the camera is looking into the barrel as he's uh, riding in the barrel. Look at the just reef just surging. Yes, yes. You're very close to the reef over there, so it's very strange. Very, uh, uh, how you say it? Uh, dangerous? Dangerous place over there. Yeah. Have, have you ever hit the reef? Yes, plenty of times. <laughs> and there is, a, uh, there is a spot over there close to the called Tomate's Place over there. Why do they call it Tomate's oh, Place? I've been there t twice, like I almost died over there. Oh, <laughs> oh no. So it's not good, not a good place. <laughs> yeah, the turtle place. <laughs> so you don't want to be there? No, nobody has to be there. Oh. I, I wait. I don't want to be, I don't want to see people now in that place when it's big. Uh, yeah, every time these guys are taking off when it's big, I, I, I get nervous. So we do have Adam coming in from Cornwall, the UK. Uh, UK is tuned in every single day as well. Jake always tuning in as well. Norbert in Aruba is tuned in. Sam, thanks for coming in again. Kimberly, what up, girl? From Canada. Thank you for tuning in. Max, giving a shout out for the Tamil boys and Angus. Nick Gornell, this guy's the wild card right here. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, for stealth. And you know what? He hasn't let anybody down so far. Big moves, free surf, and in the comp, Nick Garnell. He's going to be very exciting to watch. Very, very exciting. Uh, for Chile guys, it, this is a styling her over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So not too much uh, super blonde hair here. Yeah, like a Peruvian. <laughs> <laughs> he has a stylish Peruvian haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Nick Cornell is going to be amazing to watch. Don't go anywhere. He's coming up in heat number six right after this with Dave Hubbard and Ryan Hardy. That's going to be exciting to watch. Jonathan Chu, we know you're watching and going for Nick Gornell, so he's coming up. Dean Evans in South Coast. Alistair Lawson, what up, dog, from the U.K. Perth is tuning in with Daniel Bird. Jordan Baker, what up? 
Joel Hennessy, Jonathan Chu, and Steve Action Jackson. What up, dog? 14 minutes, 50 seconds remaining, and here is where we are currently in the water. There has been a situation change, and this is it. Dave Winchester now in first place. Chase O'Leary is now in second place. Chase is now chasing an 8.77 for that first place spot. But Roberto Bruno, he has to wake up now. He has priority out of the water. He only needs a 6.5 to get, or 6.6 .6 to get into that second place spot. Oh. Damante, why is it so consistent here? How come there's waves every single day? Uh, the storms in the south of Chile, we are close to there, so we had plenty of storms. Uh, and this place is so consistent. I don't I can't, I, before, I can't, I can't believe it, uh, why the people they say here is so is, uh, consistent than Pipeline or Mexico, but it is. And I, so you've uh, been to Hawaii. You've seen pipe go very big and then be very small, almost yes, flat. Almost flat, yes. And then some month, no wave. So. And here, every during all year, you have wave even in the summer. So In the summertime? In the summertime, two meters, uh, but the set is not so... Not so many, not so many waves in one set, so it's n it's good because maybe one can hit you can hit your head when you're party, and so it's more relaxing than now, you know. And the water's warmer. Yeah, warmer, yeah. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Stealth Arica Chilean Challenge. Manny V here holding it down with Tomate for heat number five is currently out in the water. Dave Winchester in the lead, Chase O'Leary in second, and Roberto Bruno in third. Only two riders will advance on. This is an elimination round, round number three. These are 30-minute heat. 30-minute heats, top two waves will be scored, and there is a 12-wave maximum in this heat. So riders cannot catch more than 12 waves, or uh, those waves will not be counted. So mm -hmm. this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This, are ma this is make or break for a lot of these riders to yeah. advance on or go home. It's my first year is so many days contest. You know. yeah. And we had two more days. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah. what we did was we, we did the live broadcast of the trials. But uh, you know what? We got a little bit of time right now. I think, no. Let's wait after this set. If we have a, uh, a little lull in the action, we're going to throw to a quick ad, and then we're going to come back and uh, <laughs> talk about yeah. why there are so, so many uh, days. Yes. Yeah. Well, what th what's happening here in um, El Gringo, the Stealth Arica Chilean Challenge presented by BSE, is that we're cutting, we, we're pretty much giving you half days. We're not full, running full day events because what happens at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock is the wind comes up. So we have to call it a, call it a day, but it's been good. Yes. Everybody's happy. Looks like uh, we do have some action paddling out the back. Dave Winchester. Yeah. Oh, that's the one. Oh. oh behind the section, behind no. the barrel. Oh, he's closed it out. Oh, <laughs> closed out on him. <laughs> How did you know it was going to close out? I know this way. <laughs> <laughs> I know this way. <laughs> Um, yeah. Do you want to say hi to any friends or anybody you haven't seen in a while? Or? I would like to thank to God because uh, he always helped me to run this event uh, with the wave, um, to my family too, um, also my friends, the government, um, the big sponsor, Movistar, LAN, Enacap, Soho, Discotech, <laughs> uh, Samore School. Uh, so many, so many sponsors. We need, we need them for everything. Hotel, Panamericana, restaurants. So I want to thank all my sponsors, but uh, the big thanks is for God because he always send, send us a good wave. And until now, nobody's like a hurt, hurts, but it's, it's amazing. It's amazing to see all my friends, all the big riders and here and enjoy, enjoy this contest. Uh, it is really good. All right. Well. Thank you to you too. There you have it. The sponsors are the ones that are making it happen. So um, look at this out the back. Looks like we may have a little bit of uh, action. Blue and white taking a look. Chase O'Leary in the white. Roberto Bruno in the blue. Both of them paddling over. Not much of a solid look, solid wave. So they both paddle up. They saw something that we didn't. So you know what? Take a look at this and we'll be back. Oh.
Who made that ad for you? That thing's pretty pretty nice. A lot of yeah, graphics. Yeah, yeah, that's a good friend from from here, a local guy who's working with us in the camera too. So it's a very good guy. I like it. Yeah, maybe I can ask him to make me an ad too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh man. Okay. So once again, welcome to the Stealth Arica Chilean Challenge, brought to you by BSC. And uh, we know it's really early in the morning for some of you and really late at night for others and yes. perfect timing for pretty much all of South America tuning in. And, um, and it's guys like this right here on your camera, Igor Sanchez from Isla Canarias. He's going to be recording the, the action going out in the water. And let me tell you, being a cameraman out here, oh, here we go. on the left is crazy as riding the wave. Look at this, Roberto Bruno. Not much of a barrel, so he has his oh, eyes set on his big it. section. Big ah. roll! Oh, 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 no! I thought he was going to get pounded on that, yeah. but he just, uh, very Check it tough. out, another white. White, Chase O'Leary out the back. Watch oh. out, birds. Oh, he's not going to... Oh, no, a little oh, choppy. Yeah. What's happening on some of these waves is that the boats are leaving the harbor kind of close to the wave, so it adds a little wake to the, to the wave itself. Yeah. Dave Winchester. Coming around the bottom, nice. He's gonna hit it. it. Yes, he's gonna hit it. Oh, oh yeah, so good. <laughs> big flip right there from Dave Winchester, and he—that is a complete. And he's now getting washed over near oh. Tomates. Yeah, he's close to me. Close <laughs> oh, to my spot. No. Look at him just ducking right because yeah. right oh, there. That play, that play is not good. That <laughs> play is not good. If he was just inside a little bit more, uh, that yeah. would have been ugly. Yeah, ugly. Uh, so what what happened to you on on your wave? I, I was, I I got a barrel, and didn't make it, and then behind the me like a four uh, a set like a four wave, uh, close out in front of me. So take me every wave moved to that spot, and then I was tired. It was too big the the set for me, and then I was tired. I was like a Mostly sleeping on the, on the rocks. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah. Well, Roberto Bruno is not sleeping after this big maneuver. Just sets his eyes on a big move, and it was it was a roll. And watch this impact right there. Just oh. boom, a facial kisses the lip yeah. right there, or kisses the water, and he's able to maintain and ride that out. But oh, how much uh, flexibility does your body yeah. need to pull that off? Yeah, for sure. And and then you know what? After I. I Almost sleeping on the rocks. I saw a friend, like I screaming, "Tomare, get out of there! Get out of there!" And I, and I, I, I just say, I, I kind of move. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, moving on this way right here, uh, full uh, speed is Dave Winchester, bouncing his way through the section, and big backflip right there, from Dave oh. Winchester, and he pulls it off. And soon as he pulls it off, he gets out of there because it. I mean. It gets super, very shallow as soon as these guys complete these moves. And you don't want to be in Tomate land with no energy. Oh, it's not recommended. So what ended <laughs> up happening? Did you uh, roll up under the reef? I know. I saw him. I just I couldn't. I kind of move. I, 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 I didn't feel anything about my, my body. Uh, and I just said, uh, I cannot move. I cannot move. So he was running uh, running uh, straight to me. And then he take me and put him on his back. And then start running. And he saved me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did you, did you make, give him a tomato surf shot for him? Yeah. I, I didn't <laughs> have it in that time. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have it. Oh, yeah. Those girls are from Atlanta Airlines. Yeah. They know, how, they know how to promote properly. Uh. <laughs> they know how to promote Lawn Airlines because uh, they've been uh, pretty much the hit on the beach. Yeah. They're having fun with the riders, too. What, what do you mean? Uh, because they, I always say, hey, are you, uh, are you boring? Like they say, no, no, good, good rider, good, oh. nice, nice, good looking, <laughs> good looking. 
All right, let's just take a look at the current heats right now. Out in the water, five minutes remaining in this heat, round number five. So Dave Winchester still holding on to his first place spot, but look at that situation change. Chase O'Leary now drops to third place. He is in the search of 6.15. Roberto Bruno now in second place. Again, Roberto Bruno, he likes to strike at the very end of his heats. Yeah. And uh, you know what? He's not going for those long, deep barrels as uh, the rest of the guys. He's just keeping his eye out for a big maneuver at the end of the bully section. Yeah. And that big roll was uh, awarded a 6.4. Just a clean drawn out line, bottom turn, and then a big roll extended, and he was able to pull it off in the critical part of the wave. Yes. David Hubbard. Oh, yeah. In the white jersey, getting ready. Uh -huh. Ryan Hardy in red, and Nick Gornell in blue coming up next. Paulo Barcelos, the cameraman right there, says, you know what, take this uh, board. I'm not having fun with it. I'm having better luck just swimming out there without the board. So we're going to see Paulo Barcelos head back out there. The keyhole, this little area right here where it's very deep, it's is uh, the place where you can go paddle out. Yes. It's and you can see the current pulling you out, too. Yeah. So it's not wide, but it helps it help to come in and come out. So it, You said more. helps. Helps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it's not always safe. Yeah. I went out yesterday, and just coming in in that little area on a smaller day, was uh, nerve wracking. Just imagine when it's big. Oh. Yeah, you cannot see that. One. <laughs> oh. I would, I would probably paddle all the way down to the next city to get out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm joking. Hey, sometimes you can we can see some wet, uh, west uh, swells. It's coming for the next day, I think, on Sunday. Eh? And what what does the west swell do to this wave? Uh, it's like uh, you can get better at the beginning, but then I sometimes close out. So that's good for to make big maneuvers. Error. On the left, on the right, uh, sometimes gets like a back door. So oh, hopefully nice. get that like that. All right. So West Swell is on the horizon for the next couple of days, and uh, which is awesome because we only have two more days of competition remaining. Saturday, tomorrow, and Sunday is when we're going to finish off the event with uh, the final rounds. And on the final day, you're going to see well the final heats, the semifinals, quarterfinals and the final so again make sure you're tuning in saturday and sunday that's where it's all going to go down but that none of the riders will get there unless they pass today round number three is an elimination round and uh dallas singer he's going to be actually i don't think he made it out of his heat let me take a look down here Yes, he won his heat in heat number two round number three you're going to see dallas singer again also for sure. Look at his face. Yeah, he's focused. So focused. <laughs> uh, Andrew Lester with a beanie. He's coming up in heat number eight against Ben Player and Sasha Specker. So he's focused too. Look at Dallas Singer just tuning in. On s uh, it's crazy. What's oh, he thinking about? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Yesterday we went to schools with Lester, Rawlings, uh, Tamega. It was really fun. Ryan Hardy. We yeah. went to visit the school, giving the posters to the children, sign it. Even me, I was signing the girls. <laughs> I had to sign in the face of the girls. I got tomato self shop. Yeah. Hey, put the tomato self shop here. Put the tomato self shop here. And the <laughs> arms, and the face, and the front. Awesome. Yeah, it was. So you so feel like a celebrity? Yeah, my, my first time. Like the people asked me for sign, and it was really good, really fun. People get crazy. The students. Well, this guy's usually a jokester right here, Jake Stone, but he's yeah. focused as well. A lot, I think all these guys know that this is this is do or die right here, round number three. Thomas Rigby right there, unfortunately, um, didn't advance on uh, from his heat, but he's still here with support. Yes. Again, welcome, everybody. The Stealth Arika Chilean Challenge presented by BSC. Jonathan Chu, 9.45 a.m. or p.m. Where are you? Ant-Man, what up? Melbourne, Liam, what up? Blake, thank you for tuning in from Canola. Ola Oliver, uh, Jonathan, Branson, Alex, Jake, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. We are broadcasting the live feed here from Isla Alacran, uh, Isla Alacran which yeah. means... Alacran, it's like a scorpion. Yeah, scorpion <laughs> island. Well, yeah. I got heat the other day from the locals because mm. I said scorpion island all the time, and they said, no, 
Isla Alagran. Yeah. So from uh, now on, uh, it is Isla Alagran, yeah. and uh, which is the site of El Gringo, the probably one of the most consistent waves in the world for bodyboarding. It's just a heavy, perfect A-frame. And uh, I just heard, and I think you can hear it too, the horn has sounded for the end of heat number 